Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel, but today is day three of our Adventures with Noelle series where I am opening up six different advent calendars day by day and hopefully you are joining me every morning when these post. I also have my regular unboxing videos later in the afternoon at their regularly scheduled time, but I would love to have all of you along with me on this journey because there are six different advent calendars I am featuring one of them each day. The rest of them will sit behind me and that way you can see each of them up close and we can talk a little bit more about the details of them, the pricing. I will leave all of the links for you in the description box below. These calendars are all ones that I purchased for myself to share with you. So for the most part, I do not have any discount codes or affiliate links. Trust me, I tried with a few of them and it just didn't work out, but I am hoping that you enjoy this and you get an idea of the kinds of calendars that are out there possible gifts for the future, and even just individual products or companies that you might want to try out. So today is day three, and we are on our Liberty London calendar, which I am very, very excited about. This is a really big one. I thought they did a really nice job with it. So it's gorgeous. You can see it has these like peaked roofs. I mean, it, there's so much detail and the drawings go even on the back. So this could definitely be something that's freestanding under your tree if you have some grand tree where there's actually space for it. It. My tree is pretty much touching the ground on the bottom branches, so there is not room for it, but I thought they did a great job of shipping this as well. So this is what it looks like inside these lovely paisley drawers. Some of them are different sizes, but largely the same. So hopefully you guys can see that. It's very heavy because it is very full of all kinds of items, but this is what it looks like. It is heavy cardboard. If you wanted to save this for future use, you definitely could. Um, I thought about doing that last year with some of the gorgeous advent calendars that I was gifted and that I bought for myself, but there's just not room for these guys, but they are really lovely. Now this one was $3. $320. I know this was one where I did apply to their affiliate program. They rejected me, <laughs> but I did get free shipping, which I thought was pretty good. And there was about $25 in tax. So my total cost was $344 and 80 cents. All said, you guys, I spent a little over $1,500 on all of these calendars. I got deals when I could, but I thought that it was worth it just to have some of the more luxury calendars that maybe are not necessarily in your budget. And it is kind of nice to see some of these side by side and see if we think that it's worth it. So I did the math and it did say I did say, uh, let's see, if you think of the price of $344.80, there are actually 29 gifts in here, and I'm not sure how they did that. They do have a day 25 right in the center, but I don't know where those extra four gifts are coming along. Maybe, for example, they could have done shampoo and conditioner together in one day, which I think that would be nice for them not to separate it into two separate days. There are 20 full-size products in this box, which I thought that was really awesome. Now, sometimes a full-size product might just be a lip balm like we saw on day one in the fresh calendar but you can see number 25 is this big one right here in the center so that's kind of a fun way to finish up but it did say that there were 29 products 20 full size and they did say that the total combined value was over a thousand pounds 1043 pounds which I don't know if I did the math on that it's about like almost $1,300. So they're saying the value on this is almost $1,300, which basically if you're paying, you know, $344, you're getting almost like $900 extra dollars in value, which is pretty darn good. So it does have some Liberty exclusive products as well as brands that you know and love. So beautiful illustrated box. And uh, I do think it should be pretty good. So I'll just read you the description. It says containing 29 of the Liberty Beauty Buyers must have products. This year's expertly curated edit also brings together select pieces from across jewelry and accessories alongside cult favorites, niche names and fresh launches from our world renowned beauty hall. Think skincare from Votary, Parfum from Le Labo, and makeup from Surat. So well-known names, newer brands as well. But I also loved that they said things uh, that were more lifestyle in terms of having didn't they say jewelry? Yeah, jewelry and accessories alongside beauty favorites, which is kind of exciting to me. I love a good lifestyle advent calendar, and it's hard because a lot of them are sort of niche. 
So it says, Liberty's biggest launch to date, which features a range of fine fragrances crafted by the world's most renowned perfumers. Plus, this year we've worked with the award-winning artist Clime Everenden to create our most captivating keepsake, yet beautifully illustrated to depict the store, this is the actual store, as a magical winter wonderland. For an extra touch of magic, five calendars have been packed with a golden ticket hidden inside one of the drawers. We'll have to see. Wouldn't that be exciting if we got one of the golden tickets? Awarding the lucky winner 1,000 pounds to spend at Liberty. Our unmissable countdown is in every beauty lover's radar, so treat them or yourself to the ultimate gift and guarantee a memorable Christmas. So these make great gifts. I think this would be an amazing gift to give someone or just a really good value in terms of getting a bunch of stocking stuffers, right? All right, so let's open it up. I'm sorry, I have to have it facing me to find our our day four, day three. Man, I'm getting ahead of myself. So day three, oh, you guys, this is a brand we know and love on the channel. This is a brand that actually used to have their own subscription box, and it was right when I first started my channel, so I didn't actually get a chance to get it ever. You guys, look at this. We've got some Luna from Sunday Riley, which is just, this is amazing. I am so excited. This is one of their like really well-known items. It's their sleeping night oil. Let me slice it open. So uh, just had one of those little labels. I'm trying to see how I open it up. I think I have to slice it on the back too. I have finally started to get in the swing of things and have my X-Acto knife out the other day on the first day. If you didn't watch, make sure you watch because there is going to be a quiz at the end. You think I'm joking, but there really is. But you could win prizes. Not a golden ticket from Liberty London, but you could win prizes. So this is how it opens up. Ta-da! And here we have it in its nice little container. So this is very exciting, you guys. So this is a 15 milliliter version. So you can see the beautiful blue color, yes. Now the full size is 35 milliliters and $115. So I did the math. That means that it's basically $3.29 per milliliter, which means that this sample size at 50 milliliter, 15 milliliters is still a value of 49.29. So right there, there's some of your value. So this was a good like way to start our unboxing. We've already unboxed day one and day two, but for me, this is like so far the best one we've gotten from Liberty London. This is a very exciting item. Again, a really well-known product. It says massage in a few drops of this blue oil before bed and you're bound to wake up to the a little to that little bit glowier. It says the formula contains retinoids to work on the premature signs of aging. Um, and then I somehow managed to miss the rest of it while well, botanical something something. Uh, I meant to write it all down. Luna works throughout the night to deliver visibly more youthful, luminous, even toned skin in the morning. Retinol ester reduces the appearance of pores and wrinkles while fighting the visible signs of premature aging, fine lines, uneven texture, dark spots, dryness, and dullness. All things that I experienced and could use help with. Balanced with blue tansy, that's what gives it its color, and German chamomile essential oils, both so rich in soothing blue azulene to neutralize surface redness and the signs of sensitivity. Clinically proven to improve fine lines, radiance, and skin smoothness in four weeks. I need all of that. I have a lot of redness going on. I'm doing so many different things to try to help it. So retinol, ester, blue tansy. I have been wanting this for a long time. So this for me is, this is a this is a great product and I'm happy that this was the gift on the day that we are featuring uh, the Liberty London calendar for the first time. Let's move on though to our next one which is my French country home. So here is what this looks like. So we are back to the cranberry ribbon. It looks like they alternated each day between the nice dark green and the pretty cranberry. I'm going to just go ahead and slice this. So I don't keep the packaging necessarily. That's why I do like, I do admire how they hand wrap all of these items. However, I do like the ease of the drawers in all of the other boxes, right? So much easier to use. Okay, are we ready? I know you have so many things to look at behind me. Ah, so this is another one of their antique items. So if you haven't watched my My French Country Home unboxings, there is one on the way. It's gonna be in the afternoon time slot. Um, they do a beautiful quarterly subscription and there's always an antique or vintage item that she sources throughout all of France. We have gotten a vintage antique cake slicer before, but of course, the one that I received in my box, and that is one of the boxes that I pay for myself, uh, was very different. So we got an antique cake slicer. This one's very different in terms of having this like scalloped edge. 
here and then it doesn't have like a little bit of a dent so you can like scoop for like pies I guess it's really more for cake a nice big layered cake if I got one of those nice Lady M um, <laughs> crepe cakes that would be delicious all right so that is one of the items that is yes it's a little bit of a repeat it's probably them getting rid of a little bit of overstock totally fine as long as it's not one of the items that wasn't like my favorite this is kind of a cool thing to have I don't cook a lot cook I don't bake a lot of cakes these days once upon a time I did but I think these are kind of interesting and cool items to have moving on to papier which is our stationary box with their pretty foil oh is this number three I thought for some reason because I was looking in the viewfinder and I thought it was five because I reversed it so you guys know these are my least favorite ones to open because of their little tabs they're like impossible to open I haven't figured out a way to sneak into them without a lot of rippage which is a bummer because the boxes and the presentation of that calendar are so lovely let me see if I can use something else. I need something like small, like really small scissors, but unfortunately I don't have my small scissors in this desk. I have them for opening up shower steamers in the bathroom, if you can believe it. All right, it looks like we have got some washi tape. So definitely a lovely stationary box. I think it's great to have a stationary advent box, but the items inside, I will say, are on the lower value side, but we'll talk about that more when it's featured. But this is some beautiful washi tape. It's like a like kind of a dark mint, I want to say. Um, so it's not like a forest green, but more of a dark minty green with these lovely foil stars. So it does have some silver stars. Pretty simple, great for all seasons. Definitely works for holiday for wrapping up those last minute packages and getting them out the door. So that is what we got from Papier. Moving on to and by the way, I'm doing them in the alphabetical order, but I just have to, I have to get used to the sequence. And by the time we get to the end of the Advent series, I'll probably know which one comes next. But right now I have to look at my little cheat sheet off to the side. Though so now we have the white company. So they have this nice big white box back behind me. And we have day number three for them. And we got more of their products. So I think most of the items or all of the items probably from the white company are in-house made products, unlike something like Liberty London, where they have some in-house products as well as other brands. We have Seychelles, which is, must be the name of the fragrance. It's bergamot, amber, and vanilla bath and shower gel. So this is a pretty good size too, which I'm happy to see. It has more of a screw top instead of like the little pop top. So let's see. Like a warm Indian Ocean breeze, Soothing Seychelles is an evocative blend with notes of rich amber, fresh bergamot, and bright orange, warmed by notes of exotic coconut, vanilla, and almond, a luxurious gentle cleanser that gives a creamy lather in the shower or a rich foam in the bath. So again, great stocking stuffers, right? If you're like, I just won't be able to use all of these, but you're opening them and we're still only on day three, so you still have some gift giving to do, this is something that you can pass along very nicely. And this is a decent size, so it doesn't just feel like you're passing off uh, sample sizes at 8.5 fluid ounces. All right, so that was from the White Company. And then we move on to Fresh, which they do have really nice boxes. I wish I could figure out a good way to reuse this particular calendar. This is this really colorful one back here, just kind of like almost retro modern designs on them, but of course all with the Fs. So if you knew somebody whose na first name starts with an F, this could be a really cool um, calendar for them to hold on to. So we have our, our silver tissue paper. Ooh, this is from their Lotus line, Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream, Super Lotus Night Recovery. So we've got a lot of like blue night items. This sounds good. I haven't looked into this one, but you know, a face cream in a fancy bottle like this glass pot with this metallic lid. I bet it's I bet it's a pricey one. So I know a lot of you probably were like, ooh, that that fresh calendar was on the pricey side. But I think so far the uh, products inside have been worth the money so far, I think. So let's go ahead and move on to our last one, which is our edible calendar, which I will admit I've been a little bit disappointed by so far. I was kind of toying between that and one of the William Sonoma um, more edible calendars. But I was like, I just don't need that many like jams and like seasonings necessarily. Um, I actually think the calendar itself is beautiful and I haven't tried any of the treats yet, but I bet they're delicious. I just think the price and the value is a little bit 
not necessarily in my annual budget if I'm looking for value, which is something you're definitely looking for with your cal calendars. So you guys let me know in the comments below, are you usually buying your advent calendars for yourself and your own enjoyment or are you gifting them? I, I feel like I would be the best friends with whoever wanted to gift me an advent calendar. Um, I think that would be such a cool thing to receive, like if you gave it to someone on Thanksgiving and you're like, enjoy it. This is your Christmas present, but you get to open something every day for the next three weeks. I mean, that would just be, that would be phenomenal, right? But I've never been gifted an advent calendar. But maybe you guys have some good ideas now for the future. I do like to share though, don't forget, if you enter by filling out the quiz at the end of this series, then you have a chance to win some of these awesome items. All right, so the other thing with our Festive Delights calendar from Lady M we know is that we just have this cheat sheet, which is just visual. And today we did finally wind up with one of the biscuits. So they're individually wrapped, but there's no like code in terms of the, the you know, the silver wrapper is this one and the pink wrapper is this one. There's no numbers. If they had just printed the numbers in here, we would have been all good. Um, or if it just like put like a little label on the inside lid of each of the little boxes, I don't know, something. I'm not gonna taste test this today, but I am gonna go ahead and open it. Um, I will taste test some of them in future unboxings. I just can't do it today because I'm on a little bit of a juice cleanse after the holiday. But I, you can tell from the end. So this looks like chocolate to me, but it could be a couple of different chocolates. We have a chocolate hazelnut crepe biscuit or a chocolate hazelnut orange crepe biscuit. And there's really no way to know which one it is. I think it's the lighter brown, so I'm guessing it's the chocolate hazelnut. Who knows? But it's delicate rolled crepe biscuit filled with a light cream made of chocolate and hazelnuts. So the only way I would be, it could be the praline crepe biscuit. There's three of them. They're all brown. I feel like they should tell us also just for like allergies. Like if you have a nut allergy, they probably tell you you can't have any of the items in here if you have a nut allergy. But you know, it would be nice to know because some of us definitely have very strict flavor preferences. Like if for some reason you're like, I don't like anything that's rose flavored. They don't actually have anything that's rose flavored, but I would want to know what I'm getting myself into. Again, by this time, maybe some of you have pointed out to me where I can find the cheat sheet that tells me which day is which item in this little booklet, but so far I haven't found it. So that is one place where I feel like I would like this calendar and be more forgiving of its value if they had actually properly labeled all of the items. All right, let's go over everything that we got on day number three. Every once in a while I get lost. So day number three in our beautiful giant house, it's the storefront, right? I do think it's really lovely. I just think it's so cool. What would you do with this? I feel like it's almost like a dollhouse. If you took all the drawers out, you could probably make this into kind of a cool dollhouse if you have little ones running around. I bet they would actually have a lot of fun with that. So I'm gonna put this back in its little spot. You can kind of see they fit in just perfectly. I guess if you had tools, I don't know. What would you do with this? And where would you keep it? You have to have a pretty big house. You guys, there's some, there's like owls bringing presents. There's, there's an owl bringing a present. There's dogs skiing. It's pretty impressive, honestly. So <laughs> for day number three, we got our Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Night Oil, which I know some of you have had the privilege of trying before. Some of you swear by it. I've gotten it before in other boxes. I've gifted it to people because I've heard such amazing things. Um, but I really want to try this because of all the things that it says that it does. So let me put it back in this box. We got our Sunday Riley. Then we got from My French Country Home, we got another vintage cake server, which I don't mind. From Papier, we got this really pretty washi tape. From The White Company, we got this Seychelles or Bergamot Amber and Vanilla Bath and Shower Gel. So you could definitely use it for a bubble bath if you are a bath girl. From Fresh, we got this also looks really good. I'm gonna have to look into it. The Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream. And finally, we got a biscuit from Lady M, but I think it's chocolate of some sort. I just don't know. I'll have to try the future ones. I will try some of the future ones so we can, by process of elimination, figure out what we got, you guys. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below who you get your advent calendars for and what your favorite item was for today. Hopefully I'll see you later in today's afternoon unboxing of our regularly scheduled programming. And then, of course, hopefully I will see you tomorrow for day number four.